Swarovski Optics, one of the best scopes that you can buy. Uh, this particular scope uh, I bought to replace the long range hunting scope I have on my, uh, my three wind mag. I've used lots of different scopes uh, in my time. Uh, some Nikon, a, a Weaver, there's a Leupold, uh, and a Redfield. Redfield's what's currently sitting on my, on my rifle and uh, I bought this to replace it. Um, I think it goes without saying the Swarovski scope will way outclass uh, the Redfield. Nothing against Redfield, they're great scopes. Uh, this one is uh, supposed to be just one of the best that you can buy. So this particular one, again, is going on my long range hunting rifle. It is a three and a half by 18 uh, power ballistic reticle uh, with a 44 millimeter objective lens. So, with that all being said, let's see what's inside the box. A couple of different things. You get your warranty card. Stop. Don't return it to the store if it's broken. Sorsky will fix it. Then you get this. You can get with the uh, Z5, you can get custom turrets. Um, I've looked at Swarovski.com and a couple other places. I can't find exactly how much this costs, but this is similar to what uh, Leupold does with one of their very X3s. Uh, I plan to uh, look into this sometime in the future. If I do, I will update the, with a future video on how I like it. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is have this mounted and use it this, this fall when I hunt again, uh, and I will be sure to put up a new video uh, detailing how this scope did. But the rest of the stuff that's in the box, user's manual, you get some uh, ballistic drop cards, talk about these in a second. Uh, just mounting instructions, an accessory guide, and then your instruction booklet. Instruction booklets in a bunch of different language languages, uh, but there is English in there. Uh, very few instructions, but if you know what you're doing with the scope, you probably really don't need them. So, to these cards. Swarovski, based on the ballistic reticle inside of the scope, has gone through and done the work to determine what each one of your uh, reticle lines um, means based on the load that you're firing. Now, these are based on commercial loads, uh, and this isn't all that they've got. They give you a good assortment, but you can go back and order more from Swarovski as long as they've done the testing for it, get it, and then you can take it with you. If you are a hand loader like I am, you can uh, get on a, get an app or get on the web, Swarovski website and put in your ballistic data uh, and then calculate it, and it will create a custom uh, range card for you uh, that you can then take with you. So, that being said, Let's get to the scope. This Z5 series scope, again, three and a half by 18, uh, comes packaged pretty well, at least I think so. Take it out. Not very complex. You got a lot of scopes out there. It's got a lot of going on up here and back here. And to me, that's just kind of distracting. Uh, I'm not ever gonna use that when I'm out hunting. I'm basically gonna set it where I want it. Um, and either go from 18 power down to th or all the way down to three and a half power depending on how far away the animal is I'm shooting at. Um, this is a second focal plane, it's not a first focal plane, but uh, for me and my purposes, second focal plane works out just, just as good and or better. This particular scope, the caps that comes with it, come with it, clear and center. Uh, you can shoot through it if you need to. Uh, I've looked through it and you can get a good sight picture through the, the uh, dust caps but uh, wouldn't recommend it. <clears throat> you get your parallax. Uh, this is 100 to infinity. Uh, it's enumerated 100 and 300. Uh, obviously, you've got your reticle uh, adjustments. You get your power adjustment and then your focus. And a 44 millimeter objective lens. A lot of people talk about uh, 30, 44 millimeter, 50, 54 millimeter, the bigger the better. Uh, I'm not in that school. I've used 30 millimeters uh, objective lenses uh, pretty much the entire time I've been hunting and they've worked fine for me. I've gone up to 44 because uh, you need it for the Swarovski glass um, and see 
how that compares to the 30 millimeter I've got on the Redfield. So uh, I will get this mounted, do some zeroing, uh, and then hunt with it this fall. And then hopefully uh, after I go hunting this fall, I will be back with a, another review on how well it did. So if you like this, please click like, subscribe. I'll also uh, include a link to this scope where you can go check it out yourself. Thank you.